and welcome to the full and complete doctor guide. Now doctor is one of my favorite killers and I think it's one of the most proudest reworks that behavior has done. I really can't fault this killer on anything, he's got his weaknesses, he's got his strengths and any and all people that tell me that they play doctor, like kudos for you man, very good killer, a lot of fun, mechanically simple but he's got many aspects to him and that might confuse beginner players and people that uh, just are trying him for the first time. That's why I wanted to make this guide and cover all the different aspects of the doctor. He's a bit complex to understand, but once you get past uh, like the technical stuff, uh, the regular gameplay is quite simple. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So, Doctor. Doctor uh, has is a 115% killer, or 4.6, he's a tall killer. The tear radius by base, like his base tear radius without perks, without add-ons is 32 meters, but since he's got so many add-ons that shift and change his tear radius by decreasing it or increasing it, and he's also got monitor and abuse that does the same, this is uh, subject to change quite often when you're facing doctors. And his terror radius is actually affecting his power, and we will understand in a second how. His power is called Carter's Spark, and it, it is divided to uh, two abilities on the doctor's end. Shock Therapy and Static Blast. But in order to understand what these uh, abilities do, we have to understand the debuff that Doctor provides to the survivors. The, the special debuff that only Doctor can give to the survivors is called Madness. And it's ranked from tier 1 all the way to tier 3. On tier 1, when survivors receive Madness tier 1, they cannot ever leave it to, for the remainder of the trial. Uh, when the survivor enters Madness tier 1, they scream once, uh, revealing their position to the doctor, and there's 33% chance that skill checks will pop randomly on your screen, and they'll they'll be a bit like shaking, etc. They're not going to be dead in the center. On Madness Tier 2, survivors scream once more, and this time they might see hallucinations, uh, the form of a doctor standing in front of them, and there's 66% chance that of random skill checks across the screen. On Madness Tier 3, uh, Survivor Scream once more, and now every almost every skill check is going to be random all across the screen, 99% cha uh, chance that it's going to, ha going to happen. Survivors cannot do the actions of healing, repairing, sabotaging, unlocking, exit gates, cleansing, or to use any and all items they have on them until they perform the snap out of it action. When you snap out of it, you don't uh, drop it from tier 3 to 2, you drop from tier 3 to 1. This is very important to know, because the old doctor, when you snapped out of it, you dropped from 3 to 2. Now you drop from 3 to 1. When a survivor completes a snap out of it, yeah, exactly. Oh, they even wrote it. <laughs> Shock therapy is his, one of his special abilities, that is the chasing ability, for the most part or the disrupting ability, as you want to call it. And then you've got Static Blast, which is in the information ability. Shock Therapy, Doctor, uh, you ch charge up this power and you unleash a shock onto the ground. Uh, it takes you, I think, I'm not really sure how long. It takes you uh, like a second and a half to charge. You get the feel for it as you play it. And once you shock the survivor, he cannot uh, vault windows, drop pallets, unhook anyone, do anything for 4 seconds. For 4 seconds he's like fully incapacitated. This also increases his madness by half a tier. Let's say, let's say if you're madness uh, 1, you are right now... And the doctor hits you with shock therapy, you're, you're halfway to get into tier 2 for example. So like when you're looping a survivor, when he's going around pallets, around windows, shock therapy is the thing you should be using. If someone is trying to go for the unhook, use shock therapy to, to stop him from doing so. This is essentially disrupts any and all survivor actions. Note that the second uh, that you unleash shock therapy, there's a little bit of a delay until it hits the ground and the survivor. 
I think like a, a second and a half, two and a half seconds, I'm not really sure. Again, you get a feel for it. I don't want to bore you guys with numbers. This is not the way you should be playing these killers. You're not going to be counting two and a half seconds or one and a half seconds. You charge your power for some time, you unleash it, it hits the survivor, and then you follow up on them and you hit them. Static Blast is Doctor's, um, so to say, bigger ability. It, it has a cooldown of two minutes. Essentially what it does is Static Blast works by the size of your terror radius. Any and all survivors in your terror radius get shocked, they scream, reveal their location, and their madness increases by one full tier. Now on the survivor's end, there are a few ways to counter this. Either you take Calm Spirit, which prevents you from screaming, and that won't give away your location, though your madness will increase. Or you can hide in a locker. Lockers protect you from uh, Carter's... Uh... Carter's Shock Therapy and Static Blast, most importantly, if you do not want to be found. This is why I said that his power is reliant on his terror radius, for better or worse. The bigger your terror radius, the more you will be able to affect people with your Static Blast. Now, when it comes to Doctor's Teachables, he doesn't really have any good ones. I mean, you could use Overcharge and Monitor and Abuse in some certain situations, but for the most part, his perks are uh, really optional. Overwhelming Presence is a perk that affects survivors only when you're in, their, in your terror radius and it makes them waste their items 100% faster on the last level. Now, why is this not really good, especially on Doctor? In Madness Tier 3, survivors cannot use their items anyway until they snap out of it. So, they, that, that's like third of the time they can't use it. And when they will use it, they're most likely not gonna heal in your terror radius. They're not gonna do gens in your terror radius. So I, I don't, I, I really don't give this perk a high rating. From 1 to 10, I would rate this perk a 3. Eh, qu quite pointless to be honest. Monitors and Abuse is probably a doctor's best perk. When you're not in chase, your terror radius is decreased by 8. And your FOV is increased by 8 also. When you enter a chase, your FOV becomes regular, and your terror radius increases by 8. Now, for example, killers that have low terror radius will benefit quite a lot from monitoring abuse. Killers like Deathslinger or Huntress or uh, Trickster might be able to utilize this perk to lower their terror radius. And to increase the terror radius, uh, it's good for uh, killers that pair up, uh, for example, Infectious Fright with this perk. Uh, killers like Plague, killers like... Oni, killers like uh, Nurse, for example. So, it's an okay perk. It's quite nice. I would give this perk an honest uh, 7 out of 10. And then we've got Overcharge. Again, quite a weak perk. The only way I could see this perk potentially slightly work is with the build of Impossible Skill Check Doctor. You kick a gen, and the next time a survivor touches the gen, even if he gets off it instantly, he will still get an like a tremendously difficult skill check, and if he misses it, uh, then the gen regresses by an extra 5% in addition to the uh, regular missing of the skill check. Succeeding the skill check does, it does not uh, boost the generator's uh, progress, but it does stop it from exploding. I would give this perk a 4 out of 10. To be honest, if you're looking to unlock Doctor for his perks, you should only be doing it with Monitor, and even then, it's not a necessity. If you're looking to increase your terror radius for Infectious Fright value, you could just, if you're really desperate, use Distressing, or just not use anything at all, and just use a, a better perk for that slot. Unfortunately, on higher ranks, you will require Pop Goes, you will require Corrupt, this killer is not about insta down. He does not finish game very games very quickly. And the the very confusing part about Doctor are his add-ons. So the perks you take with you should should synergize uh, can synergize very well for, with your add-ons. Let me give you an example. Like uh, okay, for example, if I take if I take these two add-ons, it pairs very well with this build. For example. And all of these perks are accessible to, uh, to people who have only the Doctor and the base, uh, base kit game. Now, what this build does is that these are the calm add-ons. Essentially, when you're a uh, Static Blast, uh, your bigger ability, 
is ready, then Dr. Stair Radius is increased by 8, by 6 meters, and by 8 meters. But, once you unleash your Static Blast, and it's on cooldown, this add-on decreases your Terror Radius by 8, and this add-on decreases your Terror Radius by an extra 6. So, and when you're out of chase, Monitor and Abuse decreases your Terror Radius by another 8. So, Doctor's 32 me meter radius, decrease it by 8. How much is that? That's 24. Decrease it by another 8, that's 16. Decrease it by another 6, that's 10 meters. When your Static Blast is on cooldown, you're, you're gonna have only 10 meters of Terror Radius. And then you can use Sloppy Butcher to slow down their healing and sneak up on them with Nurse's Calling and get very, very nasty downs. Or alternatively, you can go and uh, do the impossible skill check, uh, Doctor, which also uh, works very well with these two add-ons. But you'll not go you're not going to be using the calm add-ons to decrease your terror radius. You're going to focus on them increasing it. You're going to use overcharge to make skill checks more uh, more difficult. You're going to bring. Huntress Lullaby, which nullifies the sound from skill checks when you get to 5 tokens. And decreases gens uh, even more if you miss skill checks. In addition to that, you can add Distressing, that constantly increases your terror radius, no matter where you are. And on top of that, you can take... Um, what's that perk called? Right. Unnerving Presence by the Trapper. It uh, decreases the size of skill checks by 60%. Now imagine this. You get onto a gen. You have five... Uh, as a survivor. You have five stacks of... Hunter's Lullaby affecting you. There is no sound notification on the skill check. The, it's an overcharged skill check that decreases the, the, the gen by an extra 5%. Hunter's Lullaby regresses the gen by... Six six percent even more And this is like a big pain in the butt on closed maps This uh, makes it so that survivors will have very difficult time with skill checks and give you even more information and much regression uh, To gens thanks to hunter's lullaby and overcharge this build is it will only uh, Work like in a closed map. I would recommend like Larry's midwich or uh or the Demogorgon map, then these perks work very well. Now I've shown you like two potential builds that you can, for example, uh, tinker with, right? But let's say you don't want to waste specifically the comm add-ons. You're like, Barry, I want to play regular Doctor. I, I just want to play Doctor who's normal, who's okay, he's not... S he doesn't have to bring a map offering and these two specific add-ons. Now what, what I re would recommend you... I personally use the Discipline add-on, and the uh, polished electrode. There's also a green version of them. The high stimulus electrode and the discipline level 3. The discipline uh, add-on makes it so that your shock hits the ground faster. And the polished electrode and the uh, high stimulus electrode cover a larger area uh, with your shock therapy. So even if the survivor is looping very well, he will still get uh, hit by the shock. So, I usually just run these two add-ons, or these two add-ons when I want to play just regular Doctor. And... What I recommend for you, if you just want to play normal Doctor and you're not going for any gimmicky builds... Brutal Strength is a nice perk. Survivors tend to drop pallets uh, prematurely. Because... Well, there's a delay between the moment you release your shock and they get shocked. So they want to make sure that they finish an action before the shock hits them, which is vaulting a window just last second, or dropping a pallet last second. When a survivor does that, they will drop pallets quite often, and you will be able to get rid of these pallets towards the late game thanks to Brutal Strength. I use this perk even on red ranks, it works very well for me. Uh, Sloppy Butcher is a great perk for Doctor. He has only one way of attacking survivors, he's got only his basic attack. So you'll be constantly slowing them down, slowing their healing with Slime Butcher. Very good perk. 
All right, boys. I I know I know what this looks like. I know I'm not proud of playing with Noid, but unfortunately, if I play on rank one with no slowdown perks, I'll get absolutely shredded. It is the unfortunate reality that you're going to need perks like Surge, perks like Pop Goes, perks like Ruin in order to play Doctor. He's an amazing killer, but without the necessary perks, you will have a very difficult life. Um, well, let's try to play with this build. To be honest, I'm, I'm not, I'm a bit skeptical. <laughs> The reason I'm going for Fanatophobia here uh, is a very minor reason. It'll give survivors the, the urge to, clean, uh, to heal themselves, which will waste their time. Or it's gonna slow them down if they choose to not heal. Fana and, and Sloppy are a nice combo, but I don't know if this is enough to face off on red ranks. On lower ranks, I think th this will work well as like a, a daily build. If you want to try... The impossible skill check uh, doctor or the uh, assassin doctor, the one with the nurses calling in the monitor. Feel free to use those. They're, those are also very, very fun. Uh, and those two builds, I, I would actually attempt on red ranks. So, I'm gonna try to do this build. Again, this is not even remotely viable on red ranks, but I will try my best. Uh, with Slavy Butcher and uh, Brutal Strength, I hope I can buy myself enough time to down a person or two and get him out of the game. The Noid is there as insurance, in case there will be three people or uh, two of them alive towards the end, then I would be able to get a very easy down uh, afterwards. Mm, this team looks like they're gonna stomp my ass. Okay, so this group doesn't have that many medkits. Sloppy Butcher will come in to, in real handy if they're not uh, survived with friends. If they're not survived with friends, they will not know where to go. They will be injured most of the game. And I will be getting very quick hooks. Oh, God, this map. Okay. Thank God at least I brought brutal strength. Let's hop in, into the center of the map. Waste no fucking time and unleash my rage. That was extremely dumb of her. She moved as best she could over there, but she was in a bad position, so that's a free hit for me. Let's get a hook right quick. Nope. Down you go. Shocked her, prevented her from vaulting the window, and in goes my first hook. Nice. That, that was a miss somehow. I have no idea where you're going. That's a free hit for me. Nice. I grabbed him. He blinded me, but it doesn't really matter. If you want to go for the save, feel free. You guys are fucking around way too much. You guys are fucking around. I'm gonna cause some damage you. Let's break as much palette as we can. Thanks for brutal strength. This girl's going down. There we go. They're gonna have to spend time to pick up Jake. I need to find a hook right quick. That was dumb as fuck. I got nowhere to hook her. Yeah, I got nowhere to hook her. Good job, behavior. Don't worry, you need to buff uh, survivor maps a bit more, right? I hear that. Not gonna pretend they don't. Kick this gen. Kick this pallet. I could have not gone with her anywhere. Thank you, behavior. 
Started a game, no hooks destroyed, and I got nowhere to hook people. Bloody brilliant. Nice, she fucked up. Now she can't drop it. She's got that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. No, that hurt. I hear that. They're working on the gin right over here. Three got pallets and Doctor still overcomes them. Look what an amazing chasing killer, boys. So much damage, man. So much damage. I love this killer. Jake only finished healing now. This gen has not been worked on ever since then. I hear that. Right above me. I'll apply some more pressure. They're all screaming. I'll let this Jenny regress a little. Nobody needs to know about it. Our little secret. Hey, Jenny. Come on, healing under the hook, give me a break. I couldn't I can't make that. And where will you go? You wanna get the window? You get the window. Ooh! Just barely. That's a very long uh, carcass. I have no idea what you're waiting for here. With my brutal strength, I can uh, cu uh, cut the line very short. Survivors even scream on the ground, revealing their location. So I'm going back to the Fang in a second. Give me a reminder, where are you, Fang? Okay, it is also good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look where you're going, girl. The red light is very painful for them. It's a side effect of the... Of the discipline add-on. The yellow one. Nice. That's a very strong loop, not much I can do here. I don't really mind when they blind me like that. I'm a mid-breaking pallet anyway. Mm, very strong loop, I leave her. Let's break this pallet too. Look at that, man. Look how much damage I've been doing because I've been so efficient with my chases. And Slavic Butcher has been buying me a lot of time. This gen is still dying. I have no idea why they left this gen. That's 90%. Nice. Dead end. Uh. 
Come on. I knew she's gonna commit uh, to the vault before I shock her. She tried desperately to get that vault. That's what survivors do. They know there's a delay between you unleashing the shock and the second it hits the ground. So they try to finish their action. Whether it's dropping the pallet or uh, to vault the window just in time. Jake died on second hook. This is a very favorable map for Doctor. Even with the God Pellets, if you hit uh, them with the shock just right, they will not be able to, do if, uh, to drop it even. Let's hit him with our hits. Beautiful. Nice. I think she missed her DS is what happened. Yep. Only now she began to wiggle. Decisive strike skill is also a skill check. So, because she was in Madness Tier 3, the skill check was most likely somewhere random on her screen and she missed it. That is also a very high possibility. She's gonna drop it prematurely. Oh, she's not. You're gonna drop this one prematurely? Yeah. There's three pallets here, back to back. <laughs> nice. Nah, I'm okay with that. the fact she juked me. I still nail a hit here. She's just corralling herself at this point. Ooh. Very close. Hey, what's up? Finally, they finished their first gen. <laughs> she dropped down. Hey, what's up? My doctor showed where she was. Where the doctor's uh, doctor del uh, illusions are facing, that's where the uh, that's where the survivor is hiding, or was hiding last time. Very, very powerful tracking abilities. Power circle? Nope. No power circle. We didn't even need or know it. Fan and sloppy and brutal were more than enough on this map. But the most late was our gameplay. That's what I like about this this killer and Bubba. It's just pure, unbridled, amazing, kick-ass gameplay. That's what it is. GG, well played all. Oh, they were all red rank. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, nice, very cool. I like it. So, I guess that's sort of like a build that you can do on Doctor. Again, 
I think I've won mostly to gameplay there. If you guys are interested in doing the Assassin Doctor build, do it. If you are interested in the Impossible Skill Check Doctor, do that too. He's a very diverse and very fun killer. But I'm going to now show you what is the advanced build for Doctor. The build that I prefer to run on my ranks. Again, this is not the strongest build. This is what you'll see me running a lot on my stream. I use Corrupt Intervention to get survivors closer to me so I can hit them with my shock very early on. And uh, I use also... Pop goes. You can put Surge here if you want a little bit of more information and a little bit more slowdown. You can use Discordance. Very many, many good perks you can use. And Barbecue is also a great perk for Doctor. Sure, he knows where people are 32 meters around him due to a static blast, but Barbecue shows you survivors that are above 40 meters. That's something the Doctor does will not get information for easily, and uh, you can use that information for your advantage. Add-ons, add-ons, Sidon, add-ons. Add-ons, add-ons, add-ons. Alrighty, so, sorry about that. I was just explaining something to Eden. I'm not really sure where they all spawned. Let me just unleash my power just in case. Nobody around me, 32 meters around. No, no point in wasting time here. I'm gonna find someone and uh, begin a chase. Yeah, this team is here for the sweat. The movement on this thing is very confident. She's gonna make some distance, I, I have to leave her. Burst. Now she's stuck, that's a free hit. Now she fucked up Deadard. Cool. Didn't expect her to fight like that towards the end. Good job on her. That was very close. Very generous. They are all here. I can down her very quickly. That it? Not impressed. So many people in one building, they were bound to get in each other's way. Healed with four people. There's an archive right now. I can't let them finish this gen, this gen is very comfortable. Yeah, they can finish that gen at the edge, but... That's to be expected. Oh, hi. What's up, Katie? I was hoping to find a Nia here, but you'll do. Okay. 
You can't blind someone during a scream. No around, around me. That's also good. This girl goes on the hook. This gen is getting kicked. It's a good day. This cordon's giving me viable information. I can't initiate chase. That doesn't matter. I still nail a hit here. Oh, nope, nope. Body block. There we go. Dead hurt, right? That was a dead hurt. She nudged a little bit into me. Put her on this hook. Break this pallet. This gen has absolutely no progress. I'm gonna go to towards the, that gen. I hope I can make it. Nice, I made it. That's 25 more percent to shave off this gen. No, so you're so close to the... <laughs> you want to stay there? Wow, this is so disgusting. That's fine by me. I gotta go anyway, this cordons. This girl is injured. I'm gonna choose the Cheryl. She immediately started working on the gen where, uh, where I last left her off. I want her out of the game. You can't hold back. Not for four seconds, you can't. They can finish gens right now, I really don't care. Bye bye. They might finish two gens, but I'm getting a player out of the match. Nice, easy. Get fucked. Imagine choosing Haddonfield and then still crying. Sorry about that. I don't mean to be toxic, but when when you have probably one of the best survivor-sided maps, and then you still act like a crybaby, you don't deserve any sympathy on my end. This girl probably chose Haddonfield. Survivors are aware of how abysmal this map is. They're utilizing it to the max. I'm gonna make it hurt. She's gonna pull the window because she wants to make the action. Nice. this 
<laughs> the entitlement is real. I'm gonna camp this girl to death hook because I can. I know the three remaining gens that are still uh, left. Put her back on the hook. <laughs> yes. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm, I'm not gonna wait 60 seconds for this to get wasted. I'm gonna tunnel her and get rid of her. Hmm. Nah. They have very abysmal loops here. She didn't have an elaborate plan of where to go. <laughs> it fucked. <laughs> She's out of the match. I hate survivors that are so entitled. They, they when survivors, I'm, I'm sorry, when a survivor takes a map, it's not because he's got an elaborate build with an item and four perks that would synergize and make the game fun. No, no, they just take the abysmal fucking maps, man. Look how abysmal this is. Look at this, how abysmal this is. Got belt. Out of the way it goes. She's got uh, another window up there. <laughs> Nia is going over there. She's a madness tier 3. I'll hit leave her like that. The thing is up here. I can take the god window. Let's see if you if you do that again. I doubt you'll succeed. Nia is up there. You see her scratch marks. These loops are so broken, man. Full visual uh, on the killer. Hi, bitch. Didn't expect to see me, huh? <laughs> Can't drop that, can you? Got it? No. Ah, keeping the abused in the god windows, okay, sure.
GG easy. Imagine taking Haddonfield and still losing here. That's for abusing the goddamn fences. And that's for teabagging. Yeah. Yeah. Get outplayed. Get absolutely outplayed. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor. The doctor. Very powerful killer in the chase. The doctor. Jitch. Mm. What does that does that not surprise me? None of them wrote to me GG, all of them left. Why does that not surprise me? I never bring these map offerings unless if I'm trying like to do a, ch a challenge or something. <laughs> Unbelievable. But still, you saw that? Such experienced survivors, so strong w with all those perks on such a terrible map and they still won as Doctor with yellow add-ons. That's all I needed. Very good build. Is it the best? Don't know, but definitely serves the purpose. Discordance uh, prevented uh, gen work at the start. Corrupt also uh, pairs up very well with Discordance. Brutal Strength allowed me to overcome very broken pallets. And Pop Goes was just there to slow the game down in any shape or form I could. You saw what you need to do there. You either shock a survivor to prevent them from doing action, and even if your if your shock is timed badly, and a survivor can still perform the action of vaulting the window or dropping the pallet, you can just as easily meet them on the other side. A strong survivor that realizes this will sometimes choose to not vault the pallet or not to vault the window to make the th doctor think that they are going to do it last second. It's all about mind game. There's much mind game when it comes to doctor. On Doctor's side and on the Survivor's side as well. Such a wonderful killer. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all there is to cover about him. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.